What's up, guys? Derek back. Another one with the Journey Within. Inside edition. Inside edition, inside the crib. So it's raining near us, and we are going to have to improvise. Uh, you guys are in for a treat, though. This is going to be an interesting vid. This is going to be a different type of vid. We haven't done anything like this yet. Uh, me and Antonio, my buddy. Antonio, you're going to be seeing definitely more of him. Uh, we're going to do like a debate. So we're going to have a conversation and see where it goes. <clears throat> and we're probably going to dis disagree a lot, like we always do. But the point of this video is to show you guys that it's okay to disagree. Like it's okay to not see eye to eye on things with your friends. You could still have respectful debate, respectful dialogue, and respect each other's beliefs and opinions and still express your opinion and see if you guys can try and, you know, see more eye to eye on things. What do you think of that? Sounds good. Yeah. 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 All right. So uh, we can start it off. Um... Yeah, I think, uh, <clears throat> okay, so this is a good one. We could talk about purpose. So I think the purpose of, uh, of our lives is, <clears throat> and the purpose of the evolution of the mind and, uh, how the brain evolved is in order for life and humanity to know reality better. So we're like nodes of God, I think is a good way to describe it. We're like nodes in a network and we're an extension of the entire whole to try and know itself uh, more clearly. That's what physics is, mathematics, philosophy, <clears throat> is that we're coming to know the whole more clearly and that's the purpose and function of life. And uh, consciousness came first before matter and life, so consciousness creates life. And consciousness is the fabric and the substance of everything that everything is made of. And that's like my theory of everything view on it. And I think definitely Antonio disagrees with that. Another thing <laughs> that Antonio probably will disagree with is um, a higher power. So God, right? So I believe in God, but I don't believe in the Christian God. And I don't believe in the Hindu God. Or the Muslim God, I believe in truth with a capital T. And it sucks to even use the word God, but you could just call that life. You could call that being. I use the word God because it still strikes awe if you can uh, recognize the magnitude of the present moment. Because all my good ideas come in the present moment. So you have to be connected to the moment itself for ideas to flow in and for you to open the floodgates to just the power of life itself. You can just call it life itself. Antonio doesn't believe in God. <clears throat> he would call himself an atheist, right? Um, I, w I would say more agnostic. I would say more agnostic because, I, like, there could, I believe that there could be something, but I just don't know it yet. And so, it's, like, I can't, it's hard for me to put myself in a, a box when there's really no proof of anything. Like, you right. can't, you can't, you can't disprove, you can't disprove that there's a higher power, but you can't prove that shit either, so... <clears throat> yeah, you can't you can't prove it. You certainly can't prove it. Besides from people's you know uh, individuals' personal experiences with like psychedelics, meditation, uh, religious experiences, but those are just anecdotes. So you can't really take those for you know reliable st statistical data. Um, but those are my views. My first view is on what life's about. Second view is on God, why I believe in it, what I think it is, and why believing in it will make your life better. <clears throat> because the belief system in the mind is so powerful that if you could use that belief into something positive that could uplift your own life, that power of belief comes in your favor. And like God is not outside of you, so you're not begging on your knees, praying to a God to grant your prayers. That's not what it's like. It's like you're connected to a creative energy source that you can use to build your life. You can use to change your reality. And that's, that's for some reason in the present moments. The present moment is where just like the foundation of, I think a lot of wisdom and intelligence and ideas come from, and you have to, st you have to still the mind and you have to become like profoundly present to the moment, just the moment itself. So uh, that's definitely my viewpoints. Antonio could express his and then we can kind of see where we disagree.
Yeah, so, so <coughs> I, I really don't think it's that deep. Um, I, I'm, I'm 100% okay with the notion that uh, you're, you're here to live, and then when you die, you die. I sleep pretty well at night um, with, that, with that idea in my head. Um, but it's also, like, I, I really try not to, like, think too deep into, like, why we're here and, like, the meaning of life. Because when I, when I get, like, deep like that and I really start thinking about why I'm living, I kind of forget to live. So I, 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 I'm, I kind of, I, I kind of just go with the flow and, you know, yeah. if I'm okay, if, if nothing happens when we die and it's just, just like it was before we were alive and it's nothing, then I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. It's not like, it's not something to overthink. You can't, for, I mean, that's actually kind of where we agree. You can't forget to live your life. Yeah. <clears throat> you gotta just live your life and you just, you just gotta be a good person that's the most important yeah thing. that's the most important thing try and spread love um and just live your life just live your life I don't think we can know the answers to any of these questions that's why you can't get stuck on them and it's just a, but what you can get stuck on and what I recommend you get stuck on is the fact of how amazing it is to be alive right yeah. life's, no, life's yeah. amazing absolutely life's, life's fucking amazing yeah so that can't be denied. I think we definitely agree on that. I think that's where me and Antonio <clears throat> and some of me and my other friends that you guys have seen our videos come eye to eye is that life's a gift and it's important to recognize that gift and just do all the things that constitute a great life. You know, create great relationships, create great friendships, create great memories, fall in love, meet somebody, start a business, start that creative pursuit that you've been putting off for years because it's not going to work and it's not going to be this it's not going to be that fuck all that just do it just fucking you know nike just do it right yeah well, like whatever whatever you want to do uh it doesn't matter if you're making 200k a year or you're making 50k a year if that's what you love doing just do that shit as long as you're happy bro like as long as you're happy just do that shit yeah nah, because for real. Yeah, like happiness is 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 much more important <laughs> than than the money you make like i would rather i would rather make 100k a year doing something i love than make 500k a year doing something i fucking hate every yeah. day so <clears throat> that's just me and like yeah that's that's total facts like i agree 100 percent with everything you just said like if you don't like what you're doing and if you dread going to work on monday morning and you dread waking up do something else just fucking do like yeah. for real just do something else find something else it's not worth it it's not worth the money happiness is mostly an illusion it's like a pursuit that people chase they think this thing or this experience or this relationship or this love will make me happy and i'm the exterior motivation the exterior motivation behind these pursuits is based on your external circumstances of other people's opinions your stance your status and like how you're doing in life and you think because of that, that will bring happiness, but it doesn't. It doesn't bring happiness. It brings a fleeting moment of satisfaction, and then you're on to the next pursuit, on to the next chase, because you're doing it for what it will bring you, which usually is backbreaking, brain numbing, unsatisfying, unfulfilling work yeah, for like, large corporations yeah. in law, finance, government, which are highly corrupt. And you're gonna be a cog in a machine and working 90 to 100 hour weeks to like really make that type of money. Yeah. So it's like, in the end, don't chase the money, chase what you're good at and what you like doing. And then rewards will come and you'll be able to live. And it's not like, it's not that hard to make money. It's really not that hard to make money. You just have to be good at something, put it out into the marketplace and then you'll be able to live. Yeah. And you don't have to do back breaking, grinding, brain numbing work. You can do something different with your time. And that's what this channel's about. Yeah. And that's, that's why I, w I would love for this channel to really take off because I work for a restaurant, which is a pretty good job, but I bust tables and that shit is ass. That shit is ass. And I don't even, I don't even make a lot of money either. So it's, it's a really a lose, lose. So I would, I would, I would really like to make a, a living out of this because I'm not, I'm not trying to be a buster for the rest of my life. That's, that's not the, that's not the move. So, so yeah, that's, that's what yeah. I have to say. Hell no. Hell no. I wait tables and that shit's tough as fuck. Like it's just it's a grind. Yeah. Like you make it's a fucking grind. You make money, but it's like you have to fake be nice to people for hours. Yeah. Bro. You just gotta put on a show and just 
<laughs> try not to get in trouble. I couldn't do it. I like couldn't do it. how you are. People are so sensitive. It's like if you say one wrong thing, they go straight to the manager, straight to the boss. And it's, it's like you have to pamper to all their needs. So it's like not something I want to do for the rest of my life. But I, I'll give you a quick story, quick example. I tried working in finance. I tried chasing the money. I went to school for economics. And I hated every second of it. Like I worked for two companies. I did insurance and financial advising and I made good money, but it's just such a grind. And it's like such, it's just sales. It's just fucking sales. Like it's like, there's the connection isn't there. The purpose isn't there. The quotas have to be met. You have to, you have to just get this product out to people. And like almost if, when you're starting out, like shove it in their face and like, really really like oversell and and that's just not what i wanted to be doing with my life so it's like it, you know i there's like so many ways that we can look at this it's like do we control our destiny does our thinking and our belief systems and like what we put out into life affect life in some way like this is where it gets really sort of deep and uh spiritual again is like i think that if me and antonio believe it and if we truly believe that we will be successful, like really believe it. Like it's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's going, it's to, going happen. to happen. It's going to happen. It is going to fucking happen, and we're gonna fucking make it, and we're gonna spread this message. It's gonna happen. It's just, it's like the word. It's like this is a great book that talks about this. It's called uh, Perfect Brilliant Stillness. It's an unheard of, very short tale that talks about what we're talking about. It, and the quote in the book is "Be still and stop the world." It's like the world out there doesn't really exist the way that you think it exists. A lot of it is just conceptual stories about what's going on based on news media, based on social media, and ex the exchange of information broadcasted. But it's like, you don't have to let that story affect your world that you're creating with your life, like on some deep shit. So it's like, you can push that noise out and focus your noise within, and then just pursue something all your energy is going to be going into that one pursuit so all your creative genius and intellect and intelligence and creativity is going to come out into that project and it's going to blossom yeah. and you can't you can't just say that it's going to happen you, have to, you have you have to really believe that it's going to happen you have to you have to believe that it's going to happen and you have to realize what you have to do to make it happen yeah you gotta work you gotta you it's you gotta do what you have to do to make it happen on. you know it's one thing to say it but it's another thing to do it so we're just we're just trying to do it. Yeah, we're just trying to do it. I mean, it's it takes work. I, I you know, I was talking to Antonio today. Actually, this is another area where we're gonna have some disagreements. And you know, I since I started the channel, I've been making five to six videos a day, every single day. And I'm thinking about going up more to maybe like eight or like you know five to eight range because nobody's really watching the channel. So I feel like that would be our best bet to get exposure is that the more videos, the better, because it gives us a better probability and chance to have someone watch it and have one of them blow up. It's like, that's not what I'm gonna be doing in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be doing three, maybe one video a day, just for the subscriber count that I currently have. And I did do an interview with Universal Crystals just the other day, which is coming out this week, which you guys are going to love. I'm going to put it up on the channel. And it was a crazy hour long discussion I had with this guy. If you don't follow him, I'm going to put his link below. Follow him at Universal Crystals. And subscribe. He's subscribed to his channel. He's fucking amazing. He's, he's, I'm surprised he doesn't have more subscribers. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? I was, the yeah, the interview. So, you know, that, that to me was a turning point for the channel because I'm going to start doing that a lot more. So I've been reaching out to YouTubers and just like trying to diverse, put some diversity into our, into our content. It is thundering like OKC. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nasty day. It's rare that we get rain in Florida. So I don't know how long it's going to rain for. Um, but yeah, just to, I mean, just to wrap it up, like you just, you know, there's so many we're putting our eggs in so many different baskets right and so it's like i don't think the video count uh, is is that big of a deal right now but i think it will be a big deal once we get the ball rolling but between the videos the podcasts 
I'm going to be building a course with the help of Antonio. And we're going to be trying to put something out there for you guys to work with us. That's down the road. The book's coming out. The, you know, we're going to be advertising. We're going to be working with other YouTubers. So we have a lot planned, but, you know, just definitely stay tuned. Like this, this is going to be an everyday journey. We're bringing you guys along with us. We want to give you guys a story and give you guys some inspiration on like what's, what's possible. Yeah. And you, you guys are getting both sides of the story. Like you're getting Derek and he's, he's, you know, he, he deep convos, spirituality, all that stuff. And then you get me who just doesn't give a fuck. And it's okay yeah. to like think of life either way, as long as you're working hard and you're doing what you want yeah, to do. Yeah. As long as you're, as long as you don't forget to live and you're enjoying life. The rest doesn't matter. It's all that matters. Yeah. The rest doesn't matter. Happiness is the most important thing. Because what that does is it fills your cup. So you're going to be able to actually give back to life because your cup is already going to be full. And you're not going to be chasing life for the rewards that it can bring you. Instead, you're going to be already fulfilled with your own happiness. And then what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to spread that. And you're going to want to give that give that out to the world. And then you're, what happens is, is that you become an, an, a very attractive type of person where like a lot of people want to be around you they want to listen to you talk to you and you're this is why a lot of people like this go on youtube because it gives you a creative outlet and source of expression to express your ideas and just be creative which is a lot of our gifts that light us up inside that make us happy or creativity because that's what we had when we were kids it's creativity it's music writing you know, art, entrepreneurship, uh, building a business, you know, building charities on a large scale for a lot of these, you know, extremely wealthy people. That's that's philanthropy. That's like Elon Musk's businesses. Like I'm a huge Elon Musk's, M Musk fan. Elon Musk's businesses are to better the planet and humankind. So just him being the richest man on the planet with his types of businesses is almost a good thing. You want somebody like that to have a lot of money. So that's the reward of the free market is that capitalism shows that the better the value and the better your product or service, the better you're going to get compensated and do better for yourself. So that's, that's the, this society and this economy gives us the best opportunity to be happy and to, you know, have, give us the, it's not a perfect country, but it gives us the choice and the freedom to be happy and pursue. Like that's like the, the three lines to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness this nation was founded under. And that's the gift of, you know, being born in the, on this plot of land. And don't forget, like Antonio said, to live. Don't forget to be happy. Smell the roses a little bit, you know. Just walk on grass barefoot and see how it's like when you were a kid. These things that we did when we were kids were things that made us sink into the moment more so you gotta the problem is with us we're so overstimulated we can't feel the present moment and you can't just feel your own aliveness and there's a great i'm gonna end it with this there's a great quote by alan watts he talks about the same issue he says this he says you don't go to the symphony in the orchestra to hear the finale you go there to hear every single note and to and to hear the whole symphony from beginning to end and that's what you have to do with life you have you're here to learn how to dance and to sing while this music is being played out every single moment every single because you don't you know the catches which is it's the intelligence of life is that you don't know when it's going to end you don't know People die every day. So you don't know. That's it. All right. Yeah, we're going to end it with that. Uh, I'm Antonio. Derek. Derek, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one.